Ford Sports Night on News 14 Carolina. Welcome back to the Ford Sports Night. He's Mike. I'm Ryan. Time to really shift gears now, Mike, huh? That's right, Ryan. Tennis has received some attention coming off that U.S. Open final that finished up on Monday with the win by Andy Murray. Turns out there's a training academy getting off the ground in Charlotte with the hopes of developing America's next great players. News 14 Carolina's Tim Bear has that story. Super, turn your shoulder on that back and turn it. He's played tennis against some of the greats, notching wins against Andre Agassi, Jimmy Connors, John McEnroe, and Bjorn Borg. Now Johan Creek has settled in Charlotte to build a new tennis academy. And while he may be known for his playing prowess, there was actually a much humbler beginning to his career. Well, it's funny, before I became a tennis professional playing on the Pro Tour, I was a tennis coach because I didn't have a lot of money, so I was living in Austria at the time. So uh, it came back to be a great asset for me to know how to look at things and how to, how, how to dissect a stroke from a kid's point of view and how, how to coach them better. The Johan Creek Tennis Academy has players ranging from age 8 to 17, helping teach the fundamentals while also developing these athletes' mental toughness. While most of the students weren't even born when he was ranked 7th in the world, they still find out his bio. Uh, you know, they do ask questions, and I Google a lot. These kids are very much internet uh, savvy, and they get to know, and they, oh, you won the Australian Open twice, you know, and it's, so it's, uh, it's it, you know, they get to know you, but, you know, really the, the, the fact is that once they get to know me on the tennis court as a coach, uh, it's a dynamic they enjoy. I mean, there's, there's not too many guys with my, with my resume out there five days a week on the court. Kayla Price is one of Creek's newest students. She played junior tennis and has now started taking part in professional events. In fact, this weekend, she'll be in Gainesville, Florida, playing in the WTA event. It has been a welcome change to her training schedule, now working with a world-renowned pro. The experience is really great. Um, I'm really honored to be with a coach that is at a very high level, especially um, with his status as being highest seven in the world. So it definitely pushes me to be at the top of my game and be seven in the world also. Part of the uh, shtick that I have to have is to say, listen, you are good, but you can be so much better, and you inspire them, and you really push them and, and, uh, and, and see how far they can reach. And most of the kids will probably uh, go to Division One, Two, II, or Three schools, and uh, who knows what happens after that, whether they go to pro level. After school academy training has begun, but Creek hopes to see his program grow in the coming years, making Charlotte a hub for youth tennis development. For News 14 Carolina, I'm Tim Baer. Andy Roddick's all done. The Williams sisters are getting older. The opportunity is all, is all over the place for them.